Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most global equity markets are actually up a little bit higher this morning as the latest round of Chinese data again disappointed, which kind of gives rise to the fact that there's going to be more stimulus on the horizon for uh, for China. So uh, bad news is good news at this stage, and that's helped most other global markets, including the uh, Eurozone and the US, take up that little bit higher as well. Uh, you can just see the big turnaround that we've seen in yesterday's candle on the US 30, very strong uh, turnaround from a, a low quite below 18,000 to, to close above 18,085 is still pretty decent. And in fact, we're trading above 18,123 right now, near historic all time highs on that market. So, moving on to the UK 100, um, not quite such a powerful candle right there, trading below the 55 period SMA potentially capped by that 69.64 potential resistance level in the short term. Still trading above the zero line on the MACD with the other technical indicators flattening out ever so slightly. But we've still got uh, the kind of tips of these candles to contend with where we've had a series of, uh, of lower highs uh, and the UK 100 can really do with getting its head above 69.64 with some conviction and certainly getting uh, quite close to 7,100 again before it's going to get the opportunity to springboard that little bit higher. Uh, but I think it's going to depend very much what's happening over in the Eurozone with Greece and uh, economic data coming out of America. So we're looking at Japan 225, again a bounce off the uh, potential trend line and the 55 period SMA, but potentially capped by the 21 period uh, as we get closer to 20,087, which is a short term potential resistance. And we've still got this potential head and shoulders formation here to be wary of for the Japan 225. Dollar yen reversing course again back to iron towards. You guessed it, 119. So 119.80 odd is what we're at just now. Um, but we have seen some, some yen buying uh, and gold spiked up yesterday as well. Um, crude spiked up, uh, a lot of commodity prices spiked up. Um, and that's on the back of the stronger USD apparently. Um, but we're not really kind of seeing that in, today, in today's market. Uh, but also just a little bit of uncertainty. Bond yields sold off again last night as a, a, a sorry, Yields increased, but bonds sold off. So as new as new yields become higher, obviously people get rid of the old ones. <clears throat> so we have began to see a little bit of a, of a riot in the bond market again. Uh, and dollar yen is uh, it's, it's just slowly drifting down that, that little bit more as people are buying a little bit more yen uh, to defend against uncertainty. So then moving on to crude oil Texas, it ramped up last night um, on the back of an OPEC report that they expect global demand to actually increase more next year uh, than what they had initially expected. That's caused a, a decent spike above 59.50, but we're still not above the historical uh, recent high, which we're in about 61 and 66. So we're not that far away from there just now, so we'll see how things continue. And it is Wednesday, a huge amount of economic data due today. I'll come back to that in a second, but that's inclusive of crude oil inventories. So gold broke above 1186 on the back of that bond sell off yesterday. Tips of these candles are indicative that probably around about 112 is going to be hard for it to break through. It's not done it for a, a couple of sessions, but uh, if we do get some momentum, it might it might be able to push on through. Depends what happens with the uh, with the with bonds today. Uh, and if we have a look at euro dollar, uh, euro dollar moving a little bit higher off the session highs from yesterday. Um, but grinding a little bit higher today, it really wants to break above 113 if it's going to have a, have a move to, to you know, re-challenge these, these heavy heights here on the way back to 116.42. Uh, more negotiations, negotiations between Greece and its credit are still ongoing and that's probably going to be the way until June anyway. Uh, cables had a great run, uh, absolutely smashed it the last couple of days. Uh, we're at 157.43 after the general election. Cable's gotten a lot more stable. It's pushing up higher. 157.43 is potential resistance, followed by one spot, 59. And uh, technical indicators, RSI specifically, is showing it as being overbought. The slow stochastic has already broken through the 80% level. That was a number of sessions ago. And the MACD is just going higher and higher right now. So the MACD histogram is actually accelerating. So we're not giving any early warning signals for a poten potential reversal. So just watch that because it looks like it could keep on going. So economic data wise, as I mentioned already, China disappointed across all of their retail sales, industrial production and activity indication. Germany's come out with a whole bunch of data, slowed more than um, some people thought. France actually done a lot better. Um, you got UK employment data due at 9.30 UK time. Eurozone GDP, Eurozone industrial production, US retail sales, and of course,
crude oil inventory. So make sure that you've got all these um, announcements all set in your calendar. Promises to be uh, enough information here, enough macro data to have some volatility yeah, yeah. in the market. So uh, should keep that quite interesting. And Thursday, there's a couple of bits. There's employment data and PPI. But today is the day for most economic data releases. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights part of the leg going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.